As you can see, my computer is all hooked up back there. Which is really messy. Uh, so you're gonna want to boot it up. Before you boot it up, you're gonna need to have your Ethernet connected to it, your sound, power, and your mouse and keyboard. So you're good to go. So you're gonna want to boot it up. Now, when you do boot up a machine for the first time, you're gonna want to go to BIOS and then change some things. So here my computer starts. BIOS is usually Dell uh, for Asus motherboard, so I'm going to go ahead and press Dell. Don't mind the monitor line over there, it's just my monitor is messed up. So when your BIOS does start, uh, you're going to, since everything is factory defaulted, so just go on to boot and then go to boot device. Then you're going to put this as your first, or, uh, this as your first, so your uh, DVD drive and then put your hard drive second so everything's set here and then discard configuration change and exit now now before I do that uh, you're gonna need your Callaway now to do Callaway well it's not legal uh, you can't really buy Callaway so you're gonna have to go to this um, BitTorrent site called uh, the piratebay.org you're gonna have to buy yourself um, I mean download yourself a copy by using a lightweight um, torrent program called uTorrent and make sure you have a fast connection or else this will take the age of time for you to download this it is a disk image it takes a long time and then uh, when you go to the pirate bay uh, you're gonna want to type down Callaway 10.5.2 and then just download that link over there it's about 3 gigs or more and then after you're done downloading it you're gonna uh, take one of the DVD minus R, you're gonna burn it at a slow speed using Image Burn. It's a program. It's called IMG Burn. So you can search that up on Google and then burn with that program on four times. So uh, everything works out, and when you're done, you'll get a burnt copy like this. And then when you're done, uh, you're gonna wanna pop the disc in right now. So as you can see, I'm gonna pop the disc in right now. put that disk in there and close it. Let's get back to the configuration. I'm just going to press OK for the default settings that are on right there. Now you're going to wait until your computer comes to a booting part where it says press enter to start CD-ROM or something like that. And it says press any key to start. So I pressed it and now it's going to be loading Darwin times 86. So uh just wait for that to boot up and when it is booted I'll be back Maybe five minutes at the most until you see your cursor come up. So it'll do a bunch of words. Don't worry about any errors it talks about. For instance, my one says error. Firewall unable to determine security mode defaulting.